Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, now that I am finished with Helios 1 and it is all active, I think... Well, I don't think. I know what I'm going to do next. Um, there's a place right around here in the uh, wall of the mountain that I want to head to. Um, but I'm certain that there's some other stuff that I could find on the way. Um, probably some geckos hanging out in the hills over here. Uh, maybe some scorpions or, God forbid, I should run into a death claw or two. Oh, anyway, wait, here we go. Rad scorpion. Just exactly what I expected to find. Wow. After taking Demolition Expert, they really don't stand a chance. Two shots before I did barely any damage. Okay, where's, uh, where's the next one? There we go. Just a single shot. We'll see if that does the job. Oh. Jeez, almost. Alright, well, let's just chuck one raw. Took it out. Um... There's still another one on my compass here. Come on. Here we go. Single shot. Should do the job. I hope it does anyway. Ah. I'm just short of one-shotting these stupid things. Alright. Gotcha. Okay, so. Let's uh, snatch up everything we got here. And, oh dear. You will go away. Ah, oh, crap, I'm all out of ammo. Alright. Use some of this other... Oh my god, go away! Jeez. Um, as you can see, I did take the time previously, uh, whenever I hit up Novak. Um, uh, whenever I was, uh, coming up the road, um, uh, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. after I, after I killed the vipers in that nest, and, uh, you know, freed the slaves that the legionaries had taken. Um, whenever I hit up, uh, Novak and, you know, dropped a whole bunch of stuff off and sold things off, I, uh, I indulged in one of the great things about, um, oh god, he's way too close. Go, go away. Go away. Come here. Stop running away. I hate you. Okay. Um, but... There's another one around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, but as I was saying... Uh... Whenever I, uh, sold all my stuff off, I indulged in one of the great things about New Vegas, which is the ability to, um, break down your ammo. Now, using the reloading benches isn't something that I've really ever gotten too far into, because I've just... I've been of the really brute force mentality with guns of, you know, basically, oh, well, just shoot it more, you know? You don't need to be a better shot, you just need to shoot more bullets. <laughs> um, Borderlands, anyone? But um, I've, I made uh, magnum shots for my shotgun, which have higher uh, DT penetration. All right, here we are, Blackrock Cave. Now, this could go very wrong for me. Let's hope that it doesn't. Incendiary grenade. There are invisible motherfuckers in here. Take a hit. I barely hit him. That's not good. One more. Come on, please hit him. Please hit him. Okay, I did hit him. It didn't do as much damage as I was expecting it to. Tell me. Go down. Go down. Oh god, he threw something at me. Oh, God! Where did you come from? Die. Vats uh, him in the head. Oh, God. He's... Oh, he's getting me. Where is he? He's invisible again. I can't see anything through these blood decals. Shoot him in the head. God, he just won't go down. All right. All right. He's gonna... He's totally gonna... Oh, third person accident. Go down. All right, that's... That is it. Don't care. I'll take you out with this thing. Jesus. God. Okay, he's crippled me to shit. But I'm not done yet. 
<laughs> oh my god. Five, five, sixes. Let's take the light machine gun. Okay. I'm not done yet. There's one other that I have to take out. And he's further into the cave here. Let's get a quick save in. Hope that I don't die. Let's take the bumper sword. I'm gonna take everything because God am I having my ass handed to me. Oh God. I'm crippled in the head. I can't see. Okay. He should be somewhere down there and I don't know where. So I'm just gonna... Um, take out these, and... Okay, thank god. Vats and grenades still works. Ah, crap, I'm hitting the wall. And the second grenade is gonna do the exact same thing. That's not good. Okay. We'll do the manual toss here. Third one. Oh, crap, he closed that gap really fast. Oh, I'm gonna die! Okay. You son of a bitch. Eat. Eat shotgun. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Eat grenade rifle. I will kill you if it's the last thing I do. Okay, now I know where he is. Ugh. Get myself caught in the explosion. Just one more shot and you're dead. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. Christ. Okay. And just take everything off this guy, and I'm over encumbered already. Great. Okay, well, I can promise everyone that I have come into this cave for a very, very good reason. If I just hobble my way over to this prospector, the Paladin Toaster, bonus damage against robots and power armor. That's what I came for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those off of this corpse, and um, I'm way overweight. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm gonna dump the stuff that I need to keep, and then, uh, run back to town, stash things, and, uh, sell them off. And then, uh, come back to the cave, and, uh, pick up what I need, uh, as I continue on the road. Alright, everyone. So, you know what? That terrible incident over at the cave there? Sounds like there's a storm around here. What on earth? Um, that terrible incident in Black Rock Cave, we shall never speak of it, okay? In fact, well, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll speak of the incident in Bla Black Rock Cave as an incredible victory. Damn. I can't pick that lock, I can't get inside. Um, we'll speak of the incident in Black Rock Cave as an incredible victory. Uh, according to the bards and the tale that's going to be told, I, uh, I went in with um, a knife, my bare fists, and uh, three bits of string, and I came out with uh, their eyeballs and their tongues, and not a scratch on me. I, I totally MacGyvered that place, you know, murdered everyone. Well, that being the primary difference, MacGyver didn't murder people. I do. I murdered three enormous super mutants who were invisible. Um, with just a knife, my fists, and three pieces of string. And that's how people are going to recount the tale of my adventures going into Black Rock Cave. Sorely underprepared. I didn't even need one stim pack. Alright. Um, there's another location right on the other side of the dry lake bed that I'm looking for here. And it's right up ahead. Vault 11. Alright, let's get ready because, um, there are gonna be things at the entrance of this place. Just toss one in right off the bat. Bug Stomper perk, rank 1. Uh, I think that means that I do additional damage against, um, insects and whatnot. Alright, I think that there's something in the front of the... Did I kill something? Yeah, I did kill something. I got experience. I'm not even going to bother with the scorpion glands. I'm going into a uh, vault. There are far more valuable things in here to be taken. Um, but I will take everything off of these mantis, because I think that the four legs uh, don't weigh anything, if I remember correctly. I could just look in my inventory, but that's that's asking too much. Oh! What the? Go away. Die. All right, let's switch to the buckshot that I picked up uh, from the Mojave outpost a while back. Um, 
I'm pretty sure that I chucked a, uh... Did a 10 millimeter round get chucked back here? Okay, so I enter the vault. First thing off, there are multiple skeletons up front. And there's a story to be told in here. So let's open this terminal up. Let's download this security recording. Are we really gonna do this? It's open. We could just leave. I couldn't. Not after that. We don't deserve to leave. A shining example. That's what it called us. But we were. We did what we were supposed to. Not by a long shot. Anybody would have done what we did. You ask me? That's exactly the problem. Now let's get on with this. I'll go first. Wait, wait! People should know what happened. They could learn from it. If there's anyone out there at all, I hope they never have to find out. Ready, Harry? Yeah. No, no, no! Wait! Oh. Okay, there we go. A lot of mantis in here. Luckily, um, grenades work fairly well inside of the vaults. Uh, unfortunately, it means that I'm chucking stuff all over the place. Um, there's a terminal just right here. I'm gonna go ahead and read everything on here. Vault 11 Election Guide. Dear fellow vault dwellers, congratulations, your dedication to the democratic process is the bedrock upon which the continued stability of Vault 11 is based. Now, to help you make your decision for this year's election, the coalition of Vault 11 voting blocks has put together this handy dweller's official guide to obtaining overseers democratically, or do good, that contains a summary of the leading candidates for overseer as well as their statements, key positions, and most importantly, endorsements. Candidate Henry Glover. I'm a devoted husband and father of six beautiful children. My oldest, Sam, was on the honor roll for this quarter, and I couldn't be prouder of him. My youngest, Henry Jr., just said his first word, and it was Dada. We've got this bond already, and he's still just a baby. Friends, when you go to the polls this election, I want you to think of your own children. Then I want you to think of Sam and Henry Jr. Picture their faces. Nate Stone should be overseer. Not me. Candidate Donna Haley. I'm aware of the rumors circulating about me. I want everyone to know that they are vicious lies being spread by other candidates in a desperate smear campaign. I have never in my life done anything so depraved, let alone for such things. But even if I had, that still wouldn't mean you should vote for me. Consider the fact that I am grossly underqualified for the position, and that both of my opponents are far more deserving. I know nothing about governance. You would be hard-pressed to find a worse candidate than me. I can promise you my administration would be a disaster. Candidate Nathan Stone this is ridiculous. I shouldn't even be a candidate, and I wouldn't be if it weren't for all the dirty backroom politics going on around here. It's sickening. You should all be ashamed. Those are some very interesting statements from overseer candidates in a vault centered around democracy. Uh, what's this? Notice of postponement. Fellow citizens, due to the tragic events of the past few days, the coalition of Vault 11 voting blocks has unanimously decided to postpone the election for Overseer, pending further investigation into the murders. Your security team wishes you to know that they are working tirelessly day and night to find the perpetrator and are already following up on a number of promising leads. God willing, if the killer is apprehended swiftly, we will have found a promising new candidate for Overseer. Sincerely, Terry Hart, President, Human Dignity Block. What the heck? Okay, what's this? Last note, Overseer Order 745. Effective immediately, the traditional selection process for Overseer is hereby ended. In lieu of the yearly election, a citizen will be chosen one month prior to the start of his or her term with our mainframe's random number generator, ensuring complete impartiality and fairness. Catherine Stone, Overseer. My oh my, what happened here? Not metal, medical braces. Um, just on the lookout for all of the parts that I can use to make a, a doctor's bag, which uh, also includes uh, surgical tubing and scalpel. Let's see. Oh God! It looks like there's a mantis in the in the John. Hey! 
I got a bomb for you. I just couldn't help myself. Sometimes you gotta drop a bomb and get in the other person's way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's check the rest of the stalls here. You know, I gotta say, the vaults are so awesome in Fallout. This is probably my favorite element. I mean, it's also the most creepy element. Uh, well, actually, I think that the metro tunnels in Fallout 3 were a lot more creepy than the vaults, but uh, at the, the, the vaults are pretty high up there. Uh, so if you don't have those metro tunnels... What on earth? Stupid rat. Um, but the vaults alone are pretty high up there. Uh, let's take some of the turpentine here. And let's take an equal amount of Abraxo cleaner. So for every turpentine I pick up, I'm going to take one Abraxo cleaner. Uh, let's take the duct tape there. Uh, they'll come in handy for creating uh, nuke of grenades way, way down the line whenever I finally unlock the uh, the perk. Already, I was already in that room. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the vaults are so awesome. I really like them because they really are like little dungeons. Um, and they have surprisingly deep stories going on. Uh, and moreover, the stories themselves don't really have anything to do with uh, the main quest, which is something that I absolutely love. I mean, even, uh, some, there, sometimes quests bring you into these vaults. Uh, other times, like uh, Vault 11 right here, nothing requires you to uh, come into this vault, so. Whoa, jeez. I think I set something else off in that room. Ow! Scythe face? Oh, okay. Um, what we got here? More four legs. Is there anything... Nope, that's a table. Nope, nope. Doesn't look like I... I'm just checking around for... Nope, this is just another general terminal. I'm, I'm looking around for stuff that could have been chucked off of the desks and thrown into corners. Um, Pre-war money. And I think I'm done with this room. Uh, was there something back this way? It's, it's really easy to get turned around in these places, so, um... Just go ahead and shoot this thing. Pop open the door here. What are we looking at? I think this is just another standard terminal. Yep, no new information. And I mean, on top of everything, these vaults are absolute treasure troves, which is another big reason why I love coming in here. Um, and you know, that's, that's one of the big things that, um... New Vegas really leads uh, on, as opposed to uh, what Fallout 3 did. In Fallout 3, you know, uh, there was a there was a really heavy emphasis on the world explora exploration, but New Vegas, jeez, New Vegas is all about crafting. There's there's hardly a single item in this game that you pick up that doesn't have a use. I mean, th yeah, there are some items that don't have uses, and actually, there's a reasonable number of them. But so much of the random bits and pieces that just the 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 sheer piles of junk in this game that actually serves a purpose if you pick it up and um, have things in proper quantity that you can craft. It's just mind-boggling. I mean, it's like when I found out that you could use wrenches in this game, which was com they were completely... And oh boy, he's coming for me. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think he's gonna hit him. Nope. I better pull out the shoddy. Die. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just, just the whole concept of being hit by those knife arms that the mantis have freaks me out. But, um, whenever, uh, I first played this, and I- oh god, oh god, okay, let's toss that down, and let's switch to- Oh, I think I- oh, I killed him. Yeah, I killed him. I got the experience bar there. Um, but whenever I first played this, and I realized that I could use- Wrenches, which were just, you know, they, they were kind of like set dressing. They existed in the game world, but not in any essential manner. Um, in Fallout 3, when I found out that, like, a bunch of the, the junk that I was already accustomed to seeing had use in this game, it blew my mind, and it really excited me too, because crafting is something that I absolutely love. Which, I mean, it's a give and a take, really, because before I would you know, collect junk purely on its, uh... value for being sold in Fallout 3. And then I, I turn around and here I am in New Vegas and I'm picking up even more junk, but instead of picking it up to sell it and make money, 
I end up picking it up to craft stuff, which I ultimately don't end up selling, because I feel that what I crafted is something that's worthwhile to actually make use of. So, it's, it's funny, I'm picking up more stuff in New Vegas than I do in Fallout 3, but yet I make less money, and it's all because of that freaking crafting system, because I'm so tempted. I mean, by all means, I mean, it's all my personal fault. There's nothing stopping me from uh, selling all, all, everything that I pick up or craft, except for me. All right, let's take him out. Uh, I gotta get him. Okay, yeah, I got him. Whew. I wasted a, an MF grenade, but more four legs. There's another one in here. No? Is it the room next door? I think it's over here. Yeah, sure enough, there he is. He's... He's not following me. What on earth? Oh, he's stuck on the terrain. Well, uh, a bullet to the brain works well. Now, let's start looting the living quarters. Um, a bed, a couple of lockers. Here we go, some dressers. Vault 11 jumpsuits. Alright, now, uh, it will become clear in the long term what these Vault 11 jumpsuits will be for, but I'm not going to repair them. I'm going to leave them, uh, intact in the form that they are when I pick them up, because I want as many vault suits and... Ooh, it's a personal terminal. What's this? A footlocker. Uh, but I want the vault suits. Roy Gottlieb's terminal password. I want the vault suits because they can, I can sell them to a specific person. Alright, let's uh, download this and listen to it. Security recording. She can't do this. It's done. We're done. Nothing's done. She's got the authority. The only thing she can't... 